Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do a dolly zoom effect in Hives Replay Cinema. All you're going to need is, of course, the Hives Replay Cinema and any editing software. Personally, I will be using After Effects for this tutorial. Now, what is a dolly zoom, you may ask? Well, a dolly zoom is when a camera takes in more of the background into the frame while the subject in the foreground remains the same size. Here are some examples shown on screen. You'll sometimes find this effect in movies. The scene from the 1975 Jaws is a great example. Now to achieve this effect is very simple and only consists of two parts, the dolly and the zoom. So here we have our subject and the dolly is essentially just moving the camera back and forth on a straight line as if it was on a dolly. Now you'll need to specifically dolly the camera towards the subject and it's just this simple camera movement that does half of the work for this effect. So just simply record this camera movement and then take ourselves to the editor. Now here we are in After Effects and this is where we do the zoom part of the effect. Now I've already gone and time remapped the camera movement and now all I need to do is to apply the zoom. So now I'm going to head over to transform then keyframe scale. It might be a little bit different for some of you since you might be using a different editing software, but essentially any editing software has this basic scale parameter. So now since our camera is dollowing towards our subject, we need to do the opposite for our zoom and scale out. This is the part where we maintain the size of our subject in the frame. So now let's head over to our skill keyframe that is set at 100, which is the default value. And we're going to bring this keyframe all the way towards the end, just the, the second to last frame before the scene ends. Uh, let's head back to the beginning. Let's go to our value and let's change it to, let's say, uh, 275. All right, that looks good. Now let's highlight both these keyframes, press F9, and that essentially smooths out the, the graph uh, as opposed to it being linear like this so it makes it smooth so now what we want to do is replicate this uh, time remapping graph uh, to be essentially the same where it starts off fast and then it slows down uh, towards the end so now let's head over to our skill and do the same thing start off fast at the beginning bring this across so now it slows down uh, towards the end. So now let's head out the graph editor, hit save, and let's see how it looks like. All right, it looks good. As you can see, the subject is uh, experiencing relatively little changes in size while the, the background is drastically changing in size. So this is essentially how you do the dolly zoom effect. Very simple, very easy to do, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment those questions down below, and I'll make sure to answer them all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you find uh, this effect very useful for your hive edits. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.